No one thought it was possible, but I did it anyway. Being a guitarist born with cerebral palsy has been the greatest challenge of my life. Cerebral palsy is a neuromuscular disease that affects my hand, my foot, my speech, and my overall motor function and coordination. Growing up as a child with cerebral palsy, it was difficult. I was different and I wasn't accepted by a lot of social groups and it was very difficult for me to find my place, not only in society, but in a group of friends. I always felt like I was outcasted and I, I didn't belong with any certain group or clique in grade school or high school. And because I felt so outcasted, I was bullied and picked on. It was different, so society and kids in general are pretty brutal. At least when I was growing up, they didn't know how to accept somebody that was so different, that had problems with mobility and speech, motor functions, and I walked funny, I talked funny, and they were like, well, what's up with this dude? Naturally, I was picked on for it, and uh, I really didn't find an outlet until I got into heavy music and music became my emotional outlet for my disability. And then I found my love for guitar, and guitar became the physical rehabilitation for my hand and for my disability. When I first started playing guitar, it was very difficult for me because I had no individual mobility in the fingers on my left hand. And as any guitarist will tell you, your left hand is your greatest asset. For me, I had to find my way around that. The way I did that was I figured out that I could use drop tunings and drop tune my guitar to like drop C, and then I could play flat chords all the way up and down the neck, allowing me then to focus on songwriting, which I feel is the most important aspect of being a guitarist and a musician. So once I was able to put all those pieces together, that's when my career really started to take shape and move forward. I went through the paces trying to find musicians and bands that I could possibly join once I got here. And I quickly realized that it was going to be difficult, if not next to impossible, for me to join a band, a pre-existing band, because of the parameters of my hand and the lack of mobility in my left hand. So that sent me into a very dark place and dark depression. I turned to drugs and alcohol to deal with my stress and anxiety of, of just not seeing my dream come to fruition and not being able to make what I wanted to make happen, you know, and I, I used anything I could to escape that. It got really dark. It got so dark that uh, I hit a wall and I was going to quit. I was not only going to quit music, but I was going to, I tried to commit suicide. I moved all the way across the country. I gave up everything that I knew, my friends, my family, my life, to come out here and pursue a dream. And it wasn't happening for me. I just wanted to quit. Looking back at the dark period of my life, I realized that suicide was definitely not the answer. It's a permanent solution to a, a temporary set of problems. Having reached out and asked for help and gone through the bunch of counseling that I've gone through and, and therapy that I've sought out, I'm in a, a much better place now. I can look back at it and say that that wasn't the right choice and I'm happy to be here. After all those ups and downs in LA, I realized if I really wanted to make it in music, the best way to do so was to form my own band based around my own limitations and the special parameters of my left hand. That's what the Mendenhall experiment is. It's my experiment to see if the kid with cerebral palsy 
can put a band together, write some songs, and then elevate that band to a national level of success. The message of the Men Hall experiment is to not only raise disability awareness, but to teach everyone that anything in life is possible. You just gotta work for it. And through perseverance and determination, you can make anything in life happen for yourself. You just gotta put in the work. And you know, if you can't figure out how to do something one way, figure out another way. There's always another way. You just gotta look at things differently. If you're feeling down and you're not feeling good, you're feeling depressed or anxious, you know, just reach out, talk to somebody. It can change your life. And don't be afraid to go and seek counseling or medication. I know there's a huge stigma with all of that, but trust me, from somebody that's been there and gone through those things, it helps. You matter, you're needed, you rock.